Hello and welcome back to Paul's Racing Channel. Glad you could join me again. Uh, this is round three of our mixed manufacturer championship. So uh, we've come back to Europe. All the teams have flown back from uh, Australia uh, from the last round and uh, they've arrived here at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. So uh, let's get to the grid and see how they line up after quality. So uh, in pole position, it was Chuck. We've got Jerry Smiles in second, Thomas in third. Wadru fourth, Unforgiven fifth, Prime Machine in sixth, Paul in seventh, Ginger in eighth, Molson ninth, Rodders in tenth, and Jay Dyson in eleventh. Uh, Jay's, uh, Jay Dyson's joined us uh, for round three, so that's good. Uh, everyone on the Racing Superstars for this first 30 minute race, two, uh, two races as you know. Um, and as I said in the last round, we were expecting a, a wet race here tonight, having looked at the forecast, but the uh, the weather gods are on us, and it uh, looks like we might actually steer clear of those tonight. So two clear, clear, dry races. So that's good for everybody, including yourselves. Uh, it's a, bit, a little bit better for everyone. So uh, that's it. I stop my waffling, and uh, let's get on to the racing. So looking forward to these two races here tonight as they go away and clean start by everybody. Jerry taking up the lead then. <coughs> With Wadru, our reigning champion, finally joined us after two, reaching the first two rounds. He's with us here for round three, straight on the attack behind uh, Jerry from the off. So uh, even after a couple of weeks off, not that he needed to refresh his batteries, but anyway, looks like he's on it again. Wadru, that is. Jerry Doe, holding them off at the moment. So head round to uh, turn two. Now down the back straight, if you can call it a straight. And Thomas, third, our championship leader at the moment. He's had an impressive start to this championship as Thomas. Oh, and he's been attacked by Prime Machine. Oh, and actually, around the outside goes Ginger. Ginger takes up third place then. Or has he? It's a little fight here. Third, fourth, fifth place. No, Thomas gets that back. So Thomas takes up third again. So he's looking to uh, carry on his successful winning streak. He's won every single round so far, with the exception of the last race down there in Australia. So he's won three out of four. Which, uh, well, it's pretty good, ain't it? Well, Thomas then, looking to chase down Jerry and Wadru, the leaders. Ginger with a good start here tonight as well, in fourth place. Ginger, look, he's keeping with Thomas, isn't he, in that Subaru? Paul's got himself up to fifth as well in the Lexus, so he's going with them too. So you head round. Turn one for lap two. Nice clear evening. Let's hope it stays like that. Oh, someone's picked up a penalty. I think that's Prime Machine being taken by Chuck now. Yeah, so Prime Machine gets that penalty. Must have just crossed the, the lines a little bit too far. At turn one, Chuck takes sixth place off him then. So Prime just getting rid of the penalty now. It's quite easy to get a penalty, get rid of one round here actually. That uh, specifically that turn two. It's the slowest turn on the uh, on the circuit, so quite easy to, to scrub off penalties there, which he's done, so he stays in seventh. And we've got Molson being attacked by Unforgiven. No, didn't quite get him Unforgiven, so Molson in eighth, stays there. Unforgiven though, still with him with Jay Dyson behind them in tenth. Oh, Jay Dyson, I thought was going up the inside then, but he didn't quite. Stays in tenth for uh, Jay Dyson, but uh, Unforgiven. Looking to attack Molson in front. Oh, they both got a bit wide there now. Are they? Is that penalties? Not too sure. Can be a little bit unforgiving around here. There are certain areas. Yeah, I thought it might be actually. Unforgiven just gets that half a second penalty, which he's going to scrub off right this minute. There you go. He'll drop to the back of the pack as Rodders goes past him in 10th place. So unforgiving at the back then in 11th now. But plenty of time to go. Oh, and he gets another one. Unbelievable. So he gets rid of one and immediately gets another one. Which he's got to get before, or he doesn't have to actually, but he did get it before the line. So gets rid of that. 
So that was a bit unfortunate. Two immediately off the bat from each other. So let's just have a look at the leaders and see how they're doing. If, oh, and Jerry actually, look at this. Jerry is pulling away from Wadru in second. So Jerry's looking good in that Genesis. Oh, a little squiggle there though. That turn two. Easily done though, there. Just gotta be a little bit careful not to hit the power on too quickly. There, Jerry in his Prince uh, car livery. But he's looking strong tonight. Was really looking strong actually, all championship as well. He's up there in the top three at the moment. So having a good strong championship is Jerry. And it looks like he fancies it again here, doesn't he? And why not? What drew meantime? Well, looking pretty comfortable. Ooh, now, I was similar to Unforgiven. Will you get a penalty for that? I'm not sure. Well, he didn't, so maybe not quite as far over as what Unforgiven went, but uh, we'll be a little bit careful. So Wadru in second. Thomas still in third. Doesn't really need to do anything too harsh or, or doesn't have to push too hard really. Leading the championship by, by quite a big margin. So if he can get himself just in them, them top positions, he's going to get some good points anyway, just to increase that gap. So I'm sure he is pushing as hard as he can go, but uh, it's not going to be a complete disaster if he uh, if he doesn't win. But all winners out there, all, all trying to be winners out there. So uh, they're certainly not going to give up. Chuck, no, right on the back of Paul. He pulls up to fourth, but Chuck being handing in. Just looks like Alexis has got a little bit more drive out of that turn two. But then the Peugeot will, will gain on the Lexus by the time they come to the, the end of the straight. And uh, that's exactly what's happening. It just loses that drive, the Peugeot, through that turn two. As we know, it's not the quickest off the line. Or standing start, so, uh, but once it gets going, and he's on him, Chuck's absolutely pushing Paul in the Lexus. Let's just see what happens here. Has Chuck got him? And he's, ooh, and he's right on the back of him now, and he's pushing him along, isn't he? Oh, goodness. Paul covers a little bit, but. I think it's just a matter of time before Chuck gets him. Maybe he'll get him at turn one. If he can get into the draft along the straight here. I think someone's ahead of them has picked up a penalty, have they? No, it was just my eyes. So Chuck then, is he going to go for it down here at turn one? Just not quite far enough up. So good little battle there developing for fourth and fifth. Now, this could be the opportunity. I was just going to go away, but let's just see. Let's just see what happens up here at turn two. Chuck pulls out, gets himself on the inside, but I don't know, just not, not just not enough in that Peugeot. And now watch it here. Yeah, just, there you go, look. Loses a car or two. Car length or two there. Just on the exit of that bend, but and actually, they're catching up with Thomas now as well, aren't they? So, actually, this little well, Thomas, has he made a mistake? Because they're right on him now. Thomas might have uh, made a mistake at turn two, possibly, because they're right on him, but... It's like he's back on it again now. So, maybe like a little error there, unless he picked up a little penalty, not sure. But anyway, this battle goes on. Almost like the last identical to the last lap, look. It is, it is actually as well. Exact same lines almost. Oh, and Chuck's got him now. Chuck up the inside. has got to. He's got to be up there now. He's almost half half out the side of the Lexus. And no, not a, didn't do it. Just couldn't make it. So, good little battle here early on. Eight minutes in. And that's going to go on, isn't it? I think. So, we'll keep an eye on that one. Let's go back then. We've got Ginger after, after there in sixth place. So I just dropped back a little bit, but still good in sixth there from Ginger. So maybe he's not had a lot of success in that car so far, and his first couple of rounds just wasn't, just didn't quite have that, the power in it, did it? 
but uh, maybe it's more suited around here, we'll see. Bryant with a small penalty, just picked up there at turn one in seventh. Uh, Prime getting used to that car now. Found it a little bit difficult in round one down there in Monza. And uh, it looks like he's just getting the grips with it a little bit more. It does take a little bit of time if you haven't driven the cars before sometimes. It takes you two or three rounds to get used to it. We've got Jay Dyson, who, as I said, has joined us here for round three. Coming as kind of a wild card, I believe. the McLaren, Jay Dyson, quick quick driver, if you've uh, seen my League 3 videos for the BTCC Championship, you know all about Jay Dyson, and then Molson in ninth, he's having a bit of a lonely race at the moment, Molson, and he's looking to try and keep with Jay Dyson if he can, but little bit on his own and there's a bit of a gap back and we've got Unforgiven who's got back past Rodders after taking those two penalties perhaps Rodders had one I'm not sure but Rodders then drops back down to uh, the back of the field in 11th so there's your 11 cars that we've got Unforgiven unbelievable another penalty so again picking up those penalties in the, the last sectors of the circuit not getting rid of it yet, he'll probably get rid of it, I'd imagine, up here at turn two. It's the obvious place, really, and the easiest place to certainly to get rid of a half a second penalty anyway, so let's just have a look, see if he does, because Rodders is obviously eyeing that up. He's going to have a bit of that if, uh, if he has to slow down and take it. Well, he will have to slow down, obviously, and there he goes. Oh, and he just can't get rid of that little, slightly little bit, and almost there, but he's still just got a small bit, so there won't be no worries about getting rid of that. So back up front then, let's have a quick look, see how that's happening and see if Wadru's caught up. Well, he has a little bit. Just a quick shout out as well to uh, all my viewers. And uh, thanks for all your support and likes. Please keep them coming. Really appreciate it. Uh, you know this is the, uh, the best place to be, or the Ultimate Racing League is the best place to be if you want to see great action great racing great entertainment as Wardrew picks up a penalty now and also check out our usual sponsors upshiftstore.co.uk digitalmotorsports.com pineapple grips and the new one CD keys so please check those out Got some worthwhile discounts, never know, could be something good there for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, as we head up to those dates. Could get yourself a decent bargain now. Modru gets rid of that penalty. A turn two. So, Jerry, looking really, really good out in front then. Hasn't really been under any kind of pressure from Modru, at least not yet. 12 minutes in. Drew going with that Corvette, that muscle car, very quick, but uh, that's like a drink and the old fuel does that car, so be interesting in race two where uh, it's all about conserving the, uh, the fuel, so we'll keep an eye on that in race two, but at the moment holding in zone in second. Can't quite get enough on Jerry. I think obviously the Genesis is a lot, a lot more nimble, a little bit more quick around the course and around the corners. So, and I think that's where he's increasing his uh, his leads. Really, he's not going to have the flat out speed against the Corvette, but uh, all the time he's increasing it at the uh, at the turns. The Corvette's got very little chance of of catching really. So, sort of settled up there, isn't it? See how Thomas is getting on. Yeah, well, he's still in third. And he's sort of come away from that battle behind. Chuck did get past Paul in the end then. So, Chuck in fourth place. So, he's trying to chase down Thomas now. There's Paul. 
back down there in fifth and then there's a pretty big gap back to Ginger in sixth place. So Chuck then, again another, another driver who's been at the top of his game in this championship up there as well in the top three in that Peugeot and uh, again looking if see if he can get finish in the top three because he's looks like he's gaining on Thomas ahead of him steady out now and I've got a feeling that uh, I'm not going to sing that way that Chuck is going to catch Thomas very soon you know because it looks like he's gaining on him pretty much every sector here it's probably as close as he's been all race and he's going to be on him so let's just stick with this little bow or little slide from Thomas that's going to slow him down a bit and there you go, Chuck is almost right on the back of him now. Just a few car lengths between them. A little bit of slip as well along here into the braking area. He's right on him now, but we know that Peugeot just hasn't got the, the legs out of that turn two. Paul's trying his hardest to, to stick with him in fifth as well, but Pretty sure he'll do all he can to get onto the back of him, but uh, he may have to settle for fifth, assuming he doesn't make any mistakes. And there's nothing ahead of him. And Chuck now. Oh, a bit wide from Thomas. Chuck then. He would have seen that. Now, got a good opportunity to get right up to the exhaust pipe of Thomas here. And here we go, look, he's good through there with Chuck. Gets a lot of momentum, takes a bit of the kerb. But, but fairly, and uh, he's right up him now, look at this. So, I'm going to stick with this. Everything else remains the same, I think, on, on track. There's a little battle back there, but uh, in a moment, I just want to stick with this, just to see, because this is for the top. Or is this for the uh, top three? Chuck now. Right up the behind him, can he get him up here at turn one? Don't think he's got the legs to pull out and get it done. No, not quite, but uh, maybe along here at turn two. 16 minutes in, so that's half the race gone. Now here we go, cuts to the inside of Thomas, who's gonna be on the outside coming up here to turn one. Can Thomas cover it? He should be able to, he's got there though, momentarily did Chuck, but has he got there? He has. But he's, oh, he's going to be neck and neck because of the... No, he has got there, so Chuck's done it. Good move, around the outside. So he started that move really. Before turn two. Got it done by the time they come out of turn two. So good move from Chuck up to the top three. So Thomas drops to another place down into fourth. Paul doing all he can to stick with him. He's got no pressure whatsoever behind him though. But then we've got a little battle. Well, we've got Dyson actually on his own now, but then we did that battle here between Prime, Ginger, and Molson really. So there's a little three car battle. Molson looking hungry behind these two. But Jack Ginger attacking Prime. And actually I think Prime's got past Ginger, hasn't he? I think I'm sure Ginger was in front of him. So Ginger drops down to eighth. So it's just Molson now who's looking to attack Ginger. Ginger covering inside here for the next right hander. Yeah, he's not going to get him there, Molson, but just bide his time and uh, I think he'll probably get it done maybe at turn one if he can get in close enough behind the Subaru, but doesn't look close enough there. But by the time he gets to turn one, he should be right up there. Pulls out, here we go, he's going to have a look. Is he there? No, not quite. Oh, that was. Looked like he was going to go for it. Well, he was going to go for it, but decided against it. Because it might have ended up in disaster. But... Probably knows now that he 
can probably do it if you can set it up a little bit earlier. It's got the pace to get alongside Ginger, get that done. Ginger would do all he can. Oh, and a little, just tried to do a little bit of a crisscross there, Molson, and again, didn't quite work. That's quick out of the turn, is that Subaru of Ginger's? Just behind them, we've got Unforgiven, who's trying to catch up with him. Oh, Rodder's back in 11th still. Gonna just stick with this. Molson. Looks like he needs. Oh, and Ginger gets it all wrong. Almost lost it, but that's going to slow him up, lose a bit of time. Molson's going to surely get him, he does, there he goes. Or oh, perhaps not, it's not quite done yet, is it? Oh, side by side, Molson, is he there? Oh, a little bit of a door tag, but no big deal, he does get there, Molson, so... Yeah, it gets it done, but Ginger's not giving up, is he? Look at this. He wants that eighth place back. He's going to try and get it back straight away, too. So, now we've reversed the cars, and it's Ginger attacking Molson again. Well, I think Molson might just have a little bit more power in that Merc. And if they can keep it clean as Ginger goes wide, he might get a penalty for that, Ginger. He does. Oh, it's a one second penalty for Ginger. He can't go out wide there. The final bend is, is a difficult bend, actually, to try and. You're coming down there at some sort of pace. You can almost go flat through there, but uh, you've got to be careful can easily run wide and that's what's happened. But Ginger's still there. He'll look to try and get rid of it here at uh, turn two or before then actually. But uh, might get rid of it all here. No, he does, so he does slow down. Gets shot at that before he gets to turn two. So well played from Ginger, but goes out wide again. Way out there. That the runoff area. Prime ahead of them with a penalty I can see. Didn't lose anything there, really, did Ginger to uh, the Unforgiven who's behind him. Maybe a 10 4 2, but didn't lose a lot. Unforgiven sliding it round the right hander. Trying to get back on turns with the rest of them. Unforgiven. And penalties kind of ruined his race a little bit. Back down there in 10th. Two back to back penalties that he had to get rid of that cost him about a second. He's just trying to build and get that time back. Rodders at the back there. Well, I think probably maybe not his favourite track. But uh, he'll see it out. 21 minutes in, so we've only got nine minutes left of this race. Tyres are beginning to wear as well on all the cars, so let's just go and have a look and see what's happening up top. See, now uh, Jerry's got. A lovely, comfortable lead from Wadru. These two really have been out on their own out front since the start. Jerry took up the, the lead really from turn one and uh, he's not looked back. Wadru followed him through. Chuck was on pole with his normal uh, disastrous start in the Peugeot. But he's up there, isn't he? Fourth, trying to chase down Thomas, who's there in third. There he is, there's Chuck. So, and in fact, did Chuck get third place? I think he did get third place, didn't he, off of Thomas? So Thomas has got that back. So, missed something there. Must have been something happened. Maybe Chuck had a penalty, not sure, but uh, goes back to fourth. And whatever it was, it slowed him down because he's some way back off the back of Thomas now. He's got to do it all again. What he done earlier? Now, has he got the time to do it all again? We were, what, eight minutes left of this? Or seven and a half minutes left of this? Let's see why not, really. We know how quick that is, although the tyres will have uh, something to say now in his uh, final few moments. Paul in fifth, which just had to get rid of a penalty by the looks of it. So, he's not going to get any better than fifth, I don't think, here. That's uh, slowed him up a bit, having to get rid of that penalty. Not that he was really gaining on Chuck and Thomas, but fortunately for him, he didn't really have anybody around him. So he got away with it, really. Didn't really lose much time. So, a bit of a lonely race for Paul as well, in fifth. Jay Dyson, again, 
looked like he was might have been up there fighting at the uh, sharp end of this field but looks like he might be settling for sixth place as well prime machine this is where we've got sort of all the close battles really prime machine is seventh but now right behind him oh and he loses it prime machine oh he did a ginger there didn't he just got his back wheels on now and i think did we lose molson no we didn't but i think you had a bit of a moment as well because that's put unforgiven right up behind him as well and unforgiven can he stop oh went a bit hot in there but managed to keep it on track but yeah as i say molson trying to chase down prime prime with that little moment back then i kept it on track unforgiven now he's gonna have a look but he's gonna go around the outside is he if he can go around the outside stay there he's no he's gonna do the crisscross get himself on the inside now good move good switch back gets it done yeah clean through there a little bit of a tag tagging match between them but Molson hasn't given up as they look neck and neck coming up over the line to start lap 16 and who's the bravest on the brakes here at turn one well, he was unforgiven, but then he did have the inside line, but goes well wide. Now, I'm not sure whether that's a penalty or not, really. I mean, knowing the game, it probably will be. Yep, there we go. Thought it might be. So, Molson will get the opportunity to get to get an eighth place back. And does, there he goes, although didn't get a very good drive out of there. I think Unforgiven's kept it. He has in eighth place. Yeah, he didn't quite get it. I don't know what happened there. Didn't look like he just sort of lost a lot of drive there in the Merc. Did Molson. But he ain't going to give up, is he? In the last five minutes now of this race. And they're still fighting it out between these two for eighth and ninth. Molson, eighth now, by a bumper. I'm forgiving to get it back here by a bumper. Or maybe by half a car. Oh, both sliding round. What a battle this is. What a race. This is a good battle at the uh, back end of the field. Molson then on the inside now. He's going to keep Unforgiven on the outside all the way up here. Because he's going to be on the inside now, Molson, coming around this right hander. Surely going to keep it. He does now. He's going to do the switch back again, Unforgiven. Not close enough this time. Oh, actually, he was close enough and he does it. A little bit of a, well, it could be a penalty there, but Unforgiven got one as well, so they could both end up with penalties and they do. Look at this. And Ginger will be laughing, looking at them, saying, yes, please, I'll have uh, two places back, thanks. But uh, both now with one second penalties. Now it's, now it's like a battle of who can get rid of the penalty first, ain't it? Molson gets that eighth place back now, both on 0.9 of a second. So we're both going to get it off here at turn two. It's going to be coming out on top here, Molson now scrubbing it off. Unforgiven also scrubbing it off, but Unforgiven's got it. Old Ginger's having a look now, he's right at the back of him. He saw the opportunity, didn't quite make it though. Unforgiven gets that place back to eighth. And now Ginger is attacking. Molson coming along here. Oh, and he dives out. Oh, not quite. Although Molson goes wide, so perhaps he has got it. Ginger, he has. He does take it. No, oh, he doesn't. Not yet, actually. He does now. But can he keep it? If Molson's got it. No, Molson's still got it. He's on the inside, coming around his left hand up. Switch back from Ginger, perhaps. Now Ginger's going to be in the inside now. And he gets it back and <laughs> now Molson's fighting with Ginger now so he's had his little battle with Unforgiven now he fancies one with Ginger gets through though Molson so back to ninth as we come into these last couple of minutes been a cracking first race here at the Red Bull ring looking forward to race two already in the dry fingers crossed doesn't look like there's any evidence of any Clouds coming over from any directions. The forecast, as I say, the teams are looking at the the weather apps, seeing what's it doing. It looks like we could be clear, so could be declared a dry race penalty for Molson now. So Molson picks up a penalty late on with a minute and a half left. 
naturally in front of him. Unforgiven's got one as well that he's just scrubbing off. So, Unforgiven, he's had some penalties tonight, hasn't he? He'll want to forget this first race. All these penalties, so let's get back to them leaders anyway. As we look at that battle, Rage on. Oh, and look at this, and Wadru's got it. Oh my goodness, sorry guys, for, didn't see the move. Sorry, Wadru. But uh, concentrating on that battle back there, and Wadru's got it, so... The man of the moment, the reigning champion. As he timed it to perfection, he's, he's made up a hell of a lot of time now on Jerry. I think Jerry might perhaps got a penalty which allowed Wadru to get back on him and obviously make the pass. Sorry guys, missed that, but my eyes can't be everywhere. But Jerry hasn't given up. As we come into the final lap, this is going to be the final lap by the time they get to the checkered flag and Jerry's having a look. So this battle's going to go right the way down to the end. Jerry's there, not quite. Now, who's the best out of there? Well, not much in it, is there? The muscle car's just got a little bit more. So can Jerry get him down here at the uh, right-hander? If he can get him behind him. Oh, he's gone wide, Jerry. He's going to look for the crisscross here, the switchback. Took a, a wider line to try and get on the inside, but Wadru was wise to that one. So Wadru, has he timed this to perfection? As he comes round these final few corners now on the final lap what a race it's been folks absolutely brilliant I think Wadru might get it although Jerry is going to have the last little say I think right on him can he get him down here last turn always oh, going to go and think about it can he dive down here he has has he no or has he wadru has got it. What a race. What a finish. And that's very close. So Wadru winner. Congratulations. Jerry second. Brilliant race from Jerry. Thomas is going to come in with a comfortable third place. That'll do him for his points nicely. Chuck in fourth. Good race from Chuck. Yeah, Paul's going to settle for fifth. Where he's been pretty much all of the race. So fifth place for Paul. Dyson. Just scrubbing off a penalty, but comfortable in sixth. Didn't have any pressure around him. So sixth place for him. Prime Machine, seventh. It's a good finish for Prime in seventh place. Molson does hold off Unforgiven, who's got another penalty, and Molson's going to go over the line with a penalty. So it's Molson, Unforgiven, Ginger, and then Rodders coming in at the last. So there's your race one. Join me again soon for race two, and I'll see you then.